St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, this weekend is the, the start of the IndyCar Championship for 2019. IndyCar is essentially the pinnacle of uh, open wheel racing in North America. We're here to celebrate and draw attention to the groundbreaking work that's being done at the Allegheny Health Network Autoimmunity Institute so they can continue to recruit some world-class physicians to help for the patients that desperately need the care. Autoimmune diseases have been in the shadows for quite a long time and it's interesting because collectively they're more common than cardiovascular disease. And there's more than 100 different autoimmune diseases, 50 million people in the United States. Autoimmune diseases tend to be very difficult to diagnose. The patients get lost in the healthcare system. We decided to create the Autoimmunity Institute to end all of that. So we brought together, now it's up to 15 actually, subspecialists or special doctors um, that work under one roof and can see people that have a variety of different problems, make an accurate diagnosis and get treatment started quickly. The AHN Autoimmunity Institute is again the first of its kind to hopefully be that one-stop shop where you can go and, uh, and get the answers that you need. I think what we bring to the table is not only all of the specialists treating people in the same location, but we also couple that with on-site research. As soon as someone walks in the door, we can get them involved in our research registry, we can tell them about research they may be eligible for, so it's pretty seamless and I think that's unique to our institute. ARDA has been the best partner we could have had for launching our Autoimmunity Institute. They're the only foundation in the world that really focuses on autoimmunity as an entire disease spectrum. When ARDA told us that there was a brand new Allegheny Health Network Autoimmunity Institute, we were thrilled. So we reached out to them and said, hey, would they like to join us at, at a race? It happened to be a race at Mid-Ohio and Kyle was racing the Lexus. It was a pleasure and an honor to, to carry the AHN Autoimmunity Institute brand on the side of our race car last year at Mid-Ohio, but it was, it was very special, I, I think, to have Joe there for the first time, to see the Autoimmunity Institute logo on the car, uh, and then to have it end up in victory lane at the end of the day. You know, our goal was just to drive some awareness as to what they're doing in, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at the West Bend Hospital. We have been thrilled to participate in the world of motorsports. We're very excited about Scuderia Corsa's IndyCar program. So last year they were in the Indy 500 and they were leading the race uh, for quite some time. It was really fantastic. This year, they're fielding the number 20 on the street courses for a full season. Scuderi Corsa is also going to run in this year's Indianapolis 500, so we're looking forward to that. We're really thrilled and, and grateful for the support that Scuderi Corsa has shown us. It's an amazing, intense, and passionate experience, and it mirrors the passion and intensity that we carry with us in our race with autoimmune disease. So tonight we're gonna to have a wonderful series of boat parties in the marina right outside the Vinoy Hotel. We've got our world-class researchers here and have an opportunity to talk about the good work that they're doing. We have our best friends in motorsports here, Kyle Marcelli, the autoimmune disease ambassador. So a big part of, of what I do, not only on the track, but off the track, is I carry the Race for RP brand. Race for RP is the race for relapsing polychondritis, so it's a grassroots awareness campaign to draw attention to relapsing polychondritis, which is a, a, a rare disease that attacks the cartilage. It can be devastating, it can be fatal. We believe it's probably not as rare as people think, it's just that it's being missed by physicians because they don't recognize some of the early symptoms. Relapsing polychondritis is a particularly important challenge. We believe that if you can find the answers to why people get relapsing polychondritis or how you can treat it most effectively, those discoveries are going to impact other autoimmune diseases. And those clues are pieces of a puzzle. Many people have more than one autoimmune disease, so it's very common. Once you have one, you may develop another. Having all those specialists there, you can diagnose and manage any of the diseases. We have already been referred and 
cared for patients from more than a dozen states. It has been very fulfilling to hear patients respond to their experiences at our Autoimmunity Institute. Having many specialists under one roof is, to be honest with you, the most difficult thing to do, but the one critical ingredient to be able to really make a difference in people's lives. I don't know what lap we're on in our race, but I do know we're gonna finish the race and we're gonna win this race.